Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tada Kitchen. We make great stuff super easy. First thing I'm making for you today is pumpkin butter. It's like apple butter, only you make it with pumpkin. It's perfect for this time of the year. Slather it on a biscuit with some butter. Oh, that's so good. I'll show you the easy, easy steps from the ingredients to how you prep the jars to how you put it all together. It's a lot of fun. It happens to be the ingredient in one of our cocktails. Look on the pumpkin martini cocktail and look it up. It's very good. So our ingredients for the pumpkin butter are one can of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie mix or filling, but pumpkin puree, a half a cup of water, about a cup and a half of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of pumpkin pie seasoning. We're gonna combine that in the pan. Bring to a bubble, and then we're gonna simmer for about 15, 20 minutes till it gets to the thickness we like. In this pan, we have boiled our jelly jars that the pumpkin butter is going into in order to sterilize them. That uh, made about two and a half of these small jars. Now, we are not canning these, like preserving these. Apparently the FDA doesn't recommend pumpkin be preserved because it's so dense and apparently bacteria can have in there. So these are certainly perfectly great to use just like you would jellies and jams uh, at a store. You put it in the fridge and enjoy it in the in the couple of weeks to come. This is so good and pumpkiny and cinnamony and so autumnal um, and like all kinds of jellies and jams and things that you put in the fridge that you made at home. Now remember this isn't preserved so it's only going to keep for a couple of weeks but uh, it's not staying around. Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, I'm down with that. Now it's a lot of sugar. For those of you monitoring your sugar, a little taste is all you get. This was just used for a cocktail. The other two jars that I made, giving away as gifts. Thanks for joining us on Ta-da! We're gonna have more shows for you coming up with lots of great stuff. We've got some more cooking coming up. We've got some crafts coming up. I'm gonna teach you how to make a really great, cool lighting effect for a kid's room or for a party. Super easy. Plus, we're gonna shabby chic some furniture. You're gonna love it. Check us out. See you later. Bye! <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.